I mean, this thing gets up and freaking goes. Hey, what's up guys, Jared GTC. Today we are gonna be talking about this 2023 Mustang EcoBoost Convertible Premium. I believe I got that name right, and I've been able to spend a few days with this vehicle, taking it on a road trip, put about 250 miles on it. It's basically brand new. Let's get into this. Okay, let's start by getting into this vehicle. Uh, it is low, right? It's low. And, um, you know, so once you're in the Mustang, uh, it's a really nice place to be overall. Uh, the seats are comfortable. There's a lot of bolstering on them. It's a little pinchy at the bottom, kind of like my uh, my scat pack, my Charger scat pack. I never I never thought those seats were uh, the most comfortable seats. Um, I think the seats in my my V6 Challenger are are more comfortable. Now these have more more bolstering than my Challenger for sure. Um, I gotta tell you, I love the layout in here. Um, the thing I like most is the size of the gauges. Um, speedometer, tachometer, they just jump out at me. I have no issues being able to find what I'm looking for. I think the menus are really uh, easy to get around. I don't particularly like this analog switch uh, situation here. Um, it's kind of weird uh, and it kind of sticks out and, and catches your hand. That's the only thing I don't love on this layout. It's interesting how the dash kind of has a symmetry to it. And I am I was looking at it this morning thinking, I wonder if that helps them out with manufacturing when they have to uh, flip the driver's side to the right for uh, overseas applications. I gotta tell you the, the rear seats uh, in this, in a Mustang, if you've been in one, driven one, own one, these are basically useless. So yeah, you are not fitting any adults in those rear seats at all. Um, this particular model comes with 18 inch wheels, standard. You can upgrade to the 19 inch wheels. I would probably do that if I were to buy one of these because I think it's just gonna um, give it a little bit more aggressive look. As far as a power plant, this is where things get really interesting with this Mustang. Um, it comes with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. It's basically a four banger uh, with a turbo on it. So this thing puts out 305 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque, which makes it extremely snappy. The obvious comparator for me, for those that have, have seen my videos and so forth, you know that I have a 2021 3.6 liter V6 Dodge Challenger. Um, this is way snappier. And I don't know how Ford is getting this kind of driving experience out of a four banger, but it's very, very fascinating. Let's just go ahead and start this bad boy up and take her out. This is the worst. <laughs> up for safety guys and we are off so back to the the driving experience it's a Mustang so right off the bat you're gonna expect this thing to have some performance to it and indeed it does this four-cylinder engine does not disappoint I mean it's the torque that you feel um, when you hit the gas and we're gonna do that in a minute but first check this out over here, these are the switches I don't love, but this allows you to change the drive modes and it does have an impact. So if I change the modes here, you're gonna see what happens. Here's your drive modes and we can switch between them. There's sport, track, get this, drag mode. And then of course your snow wet mode. So let's just go ahead and throw this into sport. I won't do track. Let's just do sport for our drive here. So we're gonna give this a little punch here. 
hear that? Let me tell you something, you feel it. This is way, way punchier than my Challenger. And, and again, I can't believe it because that Challenger V6 also puts out, you know, 300 horses. It just doesn't have the torque that this does. All right, we're gonna head out to the highway here in a second, punch this thing a little, open it up. Um, but I'll talk about, you know, some of the design cues that I like. I, I still like the front of the Mustang. I think it's got a really nice, aggressive look to the front. Uh, the sides are nice. I, I would have gone with the, the premium upgraded wheels for sure. Uh, give this thing a little bit more uh, of aggressive look. Um, I'm not particularly a fan of convertibles, but I think they definitely have their place in, you know, weekend cruising and, uh, and letting that top down and, and enjoying the weather. The back of the car has always, maybe you've seen some of my previous videos when I've looked at Mustangs, it's, it's not my favorite. Um, I still just don't think they've nailed that back. Uh, it, it feels to me, just from a design, solely a design, and this is all preference, right? It, it just feels like there's um, something they needed to do to, uh, to finish off that rear end. But hey, that's just my preference. There's certainly no denying the Mustang has its place you know, as an icon of American muscle. Okay, here we are. Just got onto the highway here. I'm gonna punch this a little bit. Let's check this out. Dude! I mean, this thing gets up and freaking goes. So there's a lot of videos I've seen online about the engine noise that I'm hearing inside the cabin. Fake, 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 fake. Maybe they've all been faking. I'm sure they're not. Is it synthetic? Is it not synthetic? I don't know, but it's working for me right now. <laughs> You are not gonna be wanting for the fun factor in this EcoBoost. I mean, you think it's a four cylinder, it must be disappointing, not at all uh, for me. And again, I've had a scat pack, I now have a Hellcat Red Eye, and I've got the Challenger V6. If you're just looking for strictly putting your foot into it fun, this is really, worth your consideration. I I maybe just discounted this thing because it's a four banger. I'm like a four cylinder car, no go. But um, I like this engine, I really do. Oh man, that's just, dang. I can't lie, I dig it. And you know what's even more impressive is on this road trip, I've been averaging right about 27 miles per gallon. Right now it says 26.8 coming down on my road trip. I was averaging just over uh, 27, like 27.3. Um, I don't understand that. I had it in the uh, sport mode the whole time. So <laughs> that's impressive. Um, this thing, this thing goes. The other thing too is um, as far as visibility is concerned, no issues for me. Again, uh, coming from a Dodge Challenger, it feels very similar to me as far as the visibility. As a coupe, it's a little more tucked in, a little more you know tight uh, quarters in here. Not that I don't have leg room or, or feel like I've got enough room. I'm 6'2", I've got plenty of room in here, plenty of headroom. Um, and the visibility is not, not an issue at all. One little disappointing thing for me is I have noticed in driving this, this car doesn't even have 2,000 miles on it, and I've got a little bit of a fit and finish maybe noise coming from uh, the doors. So like, and I think this, go ahead and comment down below, but I think this may be something that sort of plagues convertibles in that the overall stiffness of the, of the chassis, the car, uh, it's maybe a little bit compromised. And so I've got a little bit of noise coming from the doors as the, the car flexes over bumps and, and so forth in the road. I can hear a little bit of, you know, squeaking a little bit from the doors. It's not a game changer, but it's there. And I just wonder after maybe 10,000 miles, how's that gonna be sounding? That's the only fit and finish thing that, um, I've noticed so far, but it is it is there, and it's something to think about. All right, here we go. Doing a little U-turn on the highway here, and 
put my foot into it. Sport mode. Oh yeah. Dang, dude. Well done, Ford. Man. I'm probably biased to just not liking anything with the name Eco in it. <laughs> right? I mean, but this is good. This feels good. Feels nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, so I certainly haven't had enough time to know every single little feature, but one of the coolest things about this are those puddle lights outside of the car. You know, um, I put some aftermarket ones in on my scat pack, but these come standard and it's pretty, it's pretty cool at night to see that, you know, Mustang logo uh, projected onto the ground there. I dig that a lot. That's just like one of those extra things that's just cool and rewarding uh, for the owner. If you're out shopping, you can pick one of these up new, uh, under 40 grand. I believe that uh, they start at about $38,000, but um, definitely worth a look. And, you know, if I ever had to replace my Challenger, um, I would definitely consider this vehicle as, as a, uh, a worthy replacement for the Challenger, and that Challenger's a V6. Okay, it's a convertible. You know I had to. Okay, that's pretty dope. Oh man, okay, that's pretty fun. Woo! Convertible driving, baby. All right, that's pretty nice. Oh man, okay. I had a convertible one time, rented one in Hawaii. Once you're in one, you kind of get it. It ain't bad, guys, it ain't bad. That is pretty dang simple to do. All right, so obviously this is the automatic uh, version of this car, the 10 speed. This would be really, really fun in a manual. And I mean really fun. This little adventure with the, uh, with the top down, I don't know. Maybe I'm being converted by the convertible because I could picture a manual and the top down, cruising around some canyons, you know, some beach towns. Huh, it's got me thinking about it now. All right, guys, so I am super uh, grateful for the opportunity to be able to have this Mustang for a few days and put it through its paces. Obviously, I uh, can't know everything about a car till you've really lived with it for a while, but this couple of days and being able to put some miles on this car uh, tell me that this is um, definitely worthy of your consideration. If you're looking for something that's punchy, it's not gonna disappoint from a power standpoint, and bonus, still gets really, really good gas mileage. Um, I think uh, you should go out and drive one of these and, and, and test it out. Uh, again, I would love to try one of these in a manual. Um, I actually liked, liked my experience with the convertible here. Uh, putting the top down was, was a blast. Um, but at the end of the day, for under 40 grand, um, I think this is probably a pretty good, a pretty good situation. All right, guys, so until next time, hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you on the next one.